It's winter. I didn't plant a winter vegetable garden this year because I knew I had to update my garden. About 15 years ago, we built a whole series of raised beds out of redwood, but you know, nothing lasts forever. Redwood works so great, we're gonna do it again. And in fact, today what we're gonna show you is how to build raised beds out of redwood. When we were trying to figure out where to put the vegetable garden, there were several things we kept in mind. For one thing, we needed full sun. Full sun's really important to ripen tomatoes and squash and all those wonderful summer vegetables. We needed to make sure that the vegetable garden would be close enough to the kitchen that we actually came down here and picked the vegetables. We wanted to make sure there was a good source of water nearby. I don't want to drag a hose too far, otherwise my garden won't get watered. And finally, we needed a place where we could put a fence around the garden. At that point, our kids were really little. We needed to make sure that we kept out the bicycles and the balls and the big wheels, but we also need to keep out the four-legged critters like the bunnies. All those are important considerations when you're trying to figure out where to put your garden. Now, I'm really lucky because I have two great helpers, my husband, Kurt, and my stepson, Gabe. This is a big project. Now, if you don't have great helpers like I do, it's not such a big deal. You can still make raised beds. You could just mound up the soil. You could hold it in place with bricks or blocks or stone or even pieces of broken concrete. But what's really important before you start is that you think ahead and you make yourself a plan. Here are the supplies you'll need. Lumber, of course, something long-lasting like cedar or redwood. You'll need 4x4s and 2x6s in lengths that will match the size of your garden beds. Screws, they'll hold the lumber in place. Hardware cloth will line the beds and keep out hungry burrowing critters. Then you'll need a bunch of tools like a table or a power saw, power drill with a screwdriver bit. You'll need a tape measure, gloves, and a couple other things. It's best to build your beds on a hard, flat surface. So how many people does it take to move a raised bed once it's built? As many as you can find. Look at my beautiful new garden bed. Isn't it nice? And the redwood is just wonderful. This is a nice bed because it's about 18 inches high. That's a really comfortable height for me. And I had my husband and my stepson put a cap on it, which makes it comfortable for sitting and also putting my tools here. Now, it's really long, but it can be any length. It doesn't really matter. It's the width that's critical. For an adult, you want a bed to be not more than about four feet wide because you want to reach the center from either side. If you're gardening with kids, and it's great to garden with kids, you want a bed about three feet, maybe three and a half feet wide. I want to point out one other thing. Look at the bottom. You see that wire mesh? That's half inch hardware cloth. Really, really important because that's what keeps hungry gophers out. <laughs> 